Hi, Hi guys. guys! Thank you for joining today. We have two special guests today. We have my cousin, Chuthi, and her best friend, Jenny. They're joining us for crawfish and cream fried chicken. And, <laughs> and we forgot about Karma and Asia. This we have thing. a special cousin for Karma and Asia, Ozu's here. They're Karma and Ozu spending a little bit of an afternoon nap next to Chuthi. And Asia's <laughs> over here. You'll see them walking around in a little bit. All right, guys, pick pick whatever you guys want. I'm going for a crawfish. <laughs> How do you know this? Do <laughs> you guys want me to warm it again? No. <laughs> Relationships or? Relationship. <laughs> a relationship advice from you. How about relationship advice? Uh-huh. Like, how do you keep your oh, how relationship in touch? In touch? Yeah, like, <laughs> no, touch. Together. So, together. because me and Boo been together for what, 10 years? Yeah. 10 years. What do we do? Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I think we work at it every day. Mm -hmm. Every day, we try to make the next day better. Um, I think we also make sure that we respect each other, where we listen to each other, regardless of <clears throat> how mad I am right now. If I say, hey, I just need 10 minutes because this conversation is not going in the right direction, mm -hmm. he, he respects that. Like, hey, we, we need 10 minutes. As a, as a unit, we need 10 minutes so that we don't go the wrong way. Yeah. But my husband taught me how to, like, Take a second, breathe. Because you don't know what you're going to say when you're really mad at each other. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, so it's respect, communication. And I I think we do things that we enjoy together. But it's like being able to share the same, uh, the same likes. Like doing things that you want to do together. But also doing, feeling confident within your relationship where you can do things without each other. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Mm -hmm. So like, how do you guys like set boundaries? Between like each other. Ooh, Jenny, you asking a good question. I know. <laughs> so I was talking about this last night too. Right. Mm -hmm. What about you? Me? So last night, like, well, I do this with all my relationships. So like, yeah. like, what are like our boundaries, and like, what do you dislike and like like in a relationship? So. <clears throat> So like I feel like all my past relationship like it is hard because like it depends like like my last relationship if I'm gonna work you at least have to work too and if I'm gonna be in school you have to be in school too like it has to be 50 50 because I can't be you know I, like I can't be the one making the money and you're not you know what I mean um as you get older you'll start to see that 50 50 doesn't exist yeah yeah it doesn't exist but it's always different percentages in my opinion yeah it's, it's what you're willing to do. settle for yeah not do settle because if you're 50 50 today 90 10 tomorrow because because you know what he had a rough day at work you had an easy day at work and you're gonna go the extra mile for him mm -hmm. and the next day he's going 90 for you and you going 10 percent because he had a good day at work and you had a rough day at work uh-huh but if you going 40 and si he going 60 because you ain't got no job and you just sitting at home not doing very much, then, okay, well, now I understand why he said he got to say what he got to say to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I at least want a guy to, like, or if, at least. Yeah. Like, if, if, he's, if he's sitting there, like, sitting at home and you going 90%, 90% of the time, yeah, I agree with you. Say something. Mm -hmm. But it's what you're willing to settle for. And that starts from, like, when you guys first start meeting each other and, like, having conversations about even continuing a relationship that gets more intimate than friends. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, to me, for me, a deal breaker for me. Now, I'm not saying it's the best deal breaker in the world. But for me, I just wanted a man who could consistently hold a job and did not play games. Mm -hmm. And it's just because I'm not a video game playing person. Yeah. But other people might like that. And that's no fault to them or 
a difference of of uh, compromising. It's just what attracts you and your expectations. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this though, God gonna give you what you need. Mm -hmm. So how do you know he's the one? How did I know? Yeah, how do you know the one? How did I know Chutti's cousin was my husband? <laughs> He strong armed me and told my, my uncle on my second date with him that he gonna marry me. Our second date. Second date? Second mm -hmm. date. Our second date was me and the family. Mm -hmm. And he said, go tell your uncles I'm gonna marry you. And I said, for real? So I said it to uncle, uncle, your dad and uncle too. And the two of them really thought it was for real. I was like, huh, 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 huh. We had a family barbecue, nothing for real. <laughs> And he said, "I'm gonna marry your wife. I'm gonna marry your niece. Just be prepared. She gonna be the, uh, she gonna be my wife." How did I know that he was for real? Like he really gonna be a great man? Mm -hmm. The way he takes care of his mom. Oh. The way he treats his mom was the reason why I said, "All right, if you love your mom that much, then you know how to love a woman in your life." Yeah. And then on top of that, he loves Asia too. If he didn't like Asia, it was the, it was it done. was good done. Yeah, it was done. Yep, Damn. Yeah, he, he's dropping right now. <laughs> he's super easy dropping. He air hustling over there. Trying to figure like he's doing dishes. <laughs> so, Jenny. I'm scared. <laughs> Why is she good? Because I feel like Jenny got a new boyfriend every week. No, it's every year. Oh, every year. Okay. It's every year. Boyfriend. So, every how do you year. pick your partners? So, well, I'm still young. Mm hmm. And I'm still like learning the process of like. That's the nice dating? Yeah, of like actually like being with somebody and stuff. But I feel like right now I'm still learning the process behind like love, like true love. Uh huh. So right now I'm just currently still finding the one, but I don't know for sure yet. I don't know he's the one. You're still young. Yeah, I'm still young. You have a whole life to live. Yeah. I'll tell you this right now. Getting married later in my life. Because I didn't get married until I was... Babe, we were like, what, in my 30s? Yeah, I didn't get married yeah. until in my 30s. And they always say, like, your 20s are, like... Your 20s are Prime the age. fun part of your life. Uh -huh. Like, you get to explore the world and get away with it. Like, the stupid stuff you do in your 20s, you get to look back and be like, I was in my 20s. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's your prime time. Once you get into your 30s, you make up for your 20s. You sit there and you say, oh, well, I, I didn't put money into an IRA account because I was too busy <laughs> at the bar. So just enjoy it. Enjoy exploring the world. Um, I, like I said, go ahead. As long as you just need to chill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I told myself this year is going to be like the year where I'm going to be single. And I'm going to stay single. But it didn't work. So, I was like, yeah. Love happens when love happens. Yeah, that's why I said. I, if I'm going to like be with him, I'm just going to be with him. And just let it happen. And then see what happens throughout like the rest of the year. Because, mm -hmm. you know, a new year just started. So, Since Chuthi's all booed up. Chuthi, you've been having a boyfriend for what? Two years now? A year. A oh, year. A year. A year it feels longer and two than months. that. It really does feel longer than that. Which is a sign. <laughs> it's a sign is good. I don't know. I think. We all like him. Yeah, I think you should just chill and see when it happens. But also, I feel like if you feel it, then it's going to happen. So you might as well just like try. I remember my high school love. <laughs> Me too. My high school love. I hope you and Miss Nam make it through beyond high school. <clears throat> yeah. Well, he already graduated. Yeah, he already graduated. Yeah, but her <laughs> high me. school, yeah. You just, you just have one more year to go. I mean, not a year, like... Another uh, school? Uh, like a few another, months. A yeah. few months to go. Oh, man. Chitty, you know what? I will never forget your <laughs> your uh, your graduation. You know why? I'll never forget your, when your graduation is. And you better not cry, because I'm about to cry saying it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Because when I was crying, seeing that I got no pictures of grandma at my graduation, you were like, well, my grandma yeah. won't be at my graduation. And I was like, oh my God, you're so right. I won't yeah, be at I your graduation. Like, I was like, well, at least you guys got pictures. Like, I got nothing. I'm like, you better edit her in. <laughs> You, uh, I would totally do that. Yeah, for you. I was like, I would, I would totally edit pictures and come in my graduation picture. And I'm like, damn. Because she was a huge staple in her life. Yeah. Don't take advantage of your grandmas. Because when they're Love gone, they're grandmas. gone. Love her. Because we miss our grandma. Every day. We are all our grandma's dead team. Because all our grandma's dead. <laughs> On both sides. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, um. Love your grandmas. Yeah. Don't take them from granted. Yeah. You know, my grandma's birthday was the other day. What'd you my guys other do? grandma, not the one that we share. What'd you guys do? I said happy birthday to her in my heart. I feel like the most person you should actually share is your, your mom. Yeah. You should actually, like, cherish your mom. Because, like, I have two sisters. One of them to talk to my mom. So, mm -hmm. and we, and me and my siblings were, like, talking about, I think, like, her not talking to mom is, like, the saddest thing because, you know, my mom is getting old. Mm -hmm. Like, she's getting to the age where, like, that's why I want to get married early because I want my parents to be there. Yeah. And, yeah, so, like, <clears throat> that's why my mom was like, I think you should get married at the age of, like, 23. I was like, that's a little bit too early. And that's young. Yeah, that is young. And she's like, well, I want to be there at least for your wedding. How old is your mom? 50, 50 she 50. got a long way to yeah, go. That's what I said. I was like, you have a long way to go. Don't just put on your downfall like that. Yes. You never know. She probably got a lot of deaths that was within her life that was around her age. That's probably why she's worried. Yeah. So she was like, that's why I want you to get married and have kids soon. I, also like, th I think it's the Asian mom thing. They're always like, when I die, you better be able to take care, take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, do this before I die and all that stuff. Yeah, but it's 2024. We are strong Asian women right now. Strong Asian women. We can do what we want. Partially. <laughs> so this is from, the crawfish is from a place that I normally don't order from. So is it good? And I normally don't order my sauce on the side. I normally order it mixed together. But I didn't know if you were going to like crawfish with sauce on the side or not. Um, I don't know. I made, I promised to myself this year. That I would try new places and new things at least once a month. And I'm trying. How's that going? Yeah, how many new places? Yeah, I mean, this is my first new place oh. for the month of January. <laughs> this is the month of January, something new. I think I'm gonna stick to what I like. <laughs> right. <laughs> no faults to what it is, it's just. What I like is just a little better. <laughs> Yeah, I even put my extra butter sauce on the side just in case. It's actually really good. Thank you. So it doesn't count. I'll try it again. I'll try it with my corn. That's the butter sauce I normally eat with. Okay. That's karma. Yeah. Well, karma's laying behind you. We, I try to get karma in Asia in it. It's kind of sweet though. It's like their little, like, video diaries, too, as they're growing up. I heard you should do, like, dog food. Who's eating the dog food? So, I... Did you do what happened? So, <laughs> so, a little secret. If you made it this far in the video, you're going to know where my video start, my uh, channel started from. So, this is the inside secret. I enjoy making food for Asia and Karma. Like homemade meals for them. All of that. Like you know, cooking and prepping and measuring and all the just for them. But that's the only time I like to cook. Is cooking for them. So my YouTube channel was supposed to be a mukbang video channel of the girls eating the food I cooked them. They just don't eat very well. <laughs> we have to oh. fight with them to eat. Who doesn't mind? Potato and corn. We have to fight them to eat. Like, Asia has dementia now, so Asia will start to eat, and she'll walk away and be like, for totally forget that she was right. eating. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we have to hand feed her. 
So the one time I set up everything for them to record and eat, Karma ate in front of the video, the uh, <laughs> camera, and Asia was sitting there, like, sitting there, just sitting there smiling at the camera. I'm like, no, we're not taking pictures. It's a video. Yeah, it's a video. And then she completely forgot that she was even eating in the first place. Yeah, those people who do their, like, pets eating, I'm just like, how y'all do that? Like, like what are the secrets? So like, it's really hard. Like, I think they got to, like, really train them. They train them, and then, like, some dogs are, like, very smart. Like, they, like, it takes time to, like, actually, like, train them and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to, like, actually, like, sit down and actually, like, teach them how to do it. Yeah, I could never do that with Poe. Because Poe likes taking his food away. Yeah, Poe doesn't po will, eat right. Poe will pick up his food and then walk away and put it down where he's walking away to. And then he'll go back and get more food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. What about your dog, Jenny? <laughs> I lost both of my dogs. I mean, I'll lose them. Nikki was so cute. <laughs> I didn't lose them. I should have just kidnapped um, Nikki for you. I said that the other day. I was, like, low-key. No, you don't understand. You don't understand. Nikki me. is the cutest little puppy. You don't understand how big she got. She's a baddie now. Well, we should still kidnap her. Well, we don't have to kidnap her. We just be like, I, I just have to I be like, I'm ready. <laughs> and you be like, okay, I'm on my way. I'll give it back to you. <laughs> like, you don't understand how many times he like texts me. He's like, he's like, I'm ready about to give up on Nikki. I'm like, don't. Why? Just bring him over to me. Man, Nikki's a child of the world. It's just that. <laughs> Yeah, Nikki, Nikki is. Nikki's She's living at her dad's house right now in a different state. In a different state, and I uh, have to pay child support. <laughs> child it's real. Support. It is real. I, I actually have to pay for, like, her vet visits. It's and, like, real. Sometimes he wants to get her, like, stuff. What is it? Gen Z problems? <laughs> Gen Z problems. Gen Z problems. Yeah. Dog. Dog. <laughs> uh, let me show you. One time. You probably... Yeah, come over here. Close to me. <laughs> Yo, how does... Right yeah. there. You look in the camera, not at the TV. Hello. Hello, Earthlings. <laughs> that is one thing that we still struggle with for 10 years. Appreciation. We struggle with, with appreciation. Um, because he yeah. think I don't appreciate him. I think he don't appreciate me. That's crazy. My husband doesn't even know how to use the dishwasher or the laundry machine. Our, dishwash, um, our dishwasher and our washer dryer. Oh, and our vacuum. He doesn't even know how to use the vacuum. <laughs> All three are vacuums because we got three vacuums. He doesn't know how to use a single one of them. Oh. But he'll hand he'll hand sweep and hand mop. Like I'll do that. You with, with the broom and dustpan. It depends. Didn't your mom just got a new mop? Just got. <laughs> she got a new mop. Um, I got. She, Which mop did she get? I don't know. It's like that's what my dad say. It's in a box. We haven't opened like, it. I was did like, she just get a cynical one? How do we know? It's I'm telling mop. you now, they don't need a new mop. They be using the same one every year. We end up using Charlie's Sucker yet. Yeah. yeah I, was like, I was like, why get a new mop if you guys only use one of the mops? Yo, but Charlie did upgrade that Swiffer mop. Oh, yeah. That, the, was it the Power Jet one? Yeah, yeah I think so. Whatever the nice, yeah. that nice new one is. She think it's good, right? Yeah. My butter sauce is good, right? You know what it is? The secret sauce? Butter? <laughs> fish sauce. Oh, yeah. You know, people ask me, like, because I make spaghetti with fish sauce. I'll put fish sauce in our spaghetti. No, it's good. It's good. I am not giving you a weird look. Like, I'm just it's like, really good. It's, good. I'm like it's really good. Like, instead of putting salt no, on your awesome. spaghetti sauce, we put fish it's sauce in spaghetti. Put, I put on fish sauce on everything is good. Sunny side up with fish sauce. Good. You know what? 2024, I think people need to stop being afraid of seafood. If you're allergic stop being it. afraid. Period. If you're allergic, yeah. then be afraid. Don't. Oh, yeah. If you're allergic, be afraid. Be afraid. Also, you guys both have allergies. I Can we talk know. about allergies, actually? Because I don't have allergies. allergies okay, so these are all my allergies. Shellfish. It's the big one, and I learned that on my prom night. Oh, on your prom night is crazy. <laughs> yeah, my prom night. I learned that my senior year prom night, I learned that I had uh, a shellfish allergy. But they say your yeah, allergies changes every seven years. I want to talk about that after you're done. I think it's fraudulent, but whatever. No, I believe it. Yeah, no, wait until my story. Yeah. It's okay. yours. Go on. So I got shellfish, and then I got seasonal allergy. Or would I have seasonal allergies? It's normal. Not me, y'all. Same, same. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I got to start eating some local honey. What? So, yeah, they say if you eat local honey on a consistent basis, you 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 develop yeah, an immune system. A lot of people surprisingly eat honey. Like I remember, I was like playing with someone. I was like, "What are you eating?" They're like, "A jar of honey." I was like, "Why are you eating a jar of honey?" And I found out why. Yeah, you know, something about me. I'm like allergic to the world, basically. So you just need a bubble. Like for <laughs> no, real. Literally, literally. So I'm like allergic to some dog fur. Like not even all dogs. Like some dog fur. I'm like really allergic. I'm allergic to like. 
cats. I used to be. Mm. You used to be allergic to Rizzo, I used to be allergic. Not anymore. Anymore. I'm not allergic anymore. Because she. Came you know, I remember she when broke. Rizzo first came in. I would be. She really that right? Up, yeah. And every time. And then when I, I remember because you and me used to be like that. Yeah. But Rizzo would be there for the first couple months after the first. And I got months, used to it. Least, yeah. But Reza, Reza was like the first couple months when she was there, yeah. and then it started to like calm down. Oh, you guys just kept coming over. No, that yeah, time and too, I, so that's every time I would go with Chidisa, I would pop a Benadryl before I walked in. Mm-hmm. What else am I allergic to? I'm allergic to some like clothes for. Yeah. Like fake clothes? Like, you know, like fur? Like yeah, yeah, clothes? Yeah. yeah, I'm allergic to that too. Like real fur or fake fur? I think fake or real. I don't know, it depends. I remember. So, like, if you have a puffer jacket, the fur that's around, you know, the puffer yeah, jacket. Yeah, I'm allergic. I'm not allergic oh. to that. I'm used to that. But it's 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 like some cotton clothes. I'm allergic to. It. I don't know what it is, but I think I'm like. I don't know. I get really. You're not. It's probably like so. a synthetic yeah. fabric that you're allergic to. Yeah, maybe. And I'm also allergic to like some cream. Cause they put in GMOs in the plants, y'all. I'm allergic to some like. I learned that in facial science cream. Class. Shout out. <laughs> Facial cream. CeraVe. I use a lot of CeraVe. The only cream I am allowed to use that I'm not allergic to is Curology. What? It, Curology? What Curology the hell is that? Curology. Oh, Curology. Yeah. Curology. I'm allergic to <clears throat> everything. I'm allergic to everything. You went and got your allergy test, right? No. You should go get your allergy test. Boo went and did it. I think I want to get one just in case. You should do it. It's good to know. Thank Bye. you, guys. So we're all full now. We'll see you guys in the next mukbang. Bye.